Hi, Miss. Hi, Miss. Maryam and Marwa, Utala. I unmute yourselves, please. I asked you to unmute. Unmute. Yes, Maryam. Yes. Miss what did you have on the first session? Music. Uh, why did you enter the English session? Um, uh, by mistake. By mistake? Yes. Mm. Marwa and Mariam, why did you enter the English session? Hala Salman, unmute. Yes. You entered the English session on the first period. So I thought we have English. You thought you have English? Don't you have the schedule? It's not yeah. the first time, Aslan, Yana. Pay attention to your schedules. Read your schedule before you... Uh... Okay. Hassan Fuani also. Okay, I'll wait for two more minutes.
Okay, Miss, let's start. I cannot wait more than that. Um, so we are going to start now. Uh, today's or this week's lecture is divided into two parts, grammar and writing. So we are going to cover two uh, lessons this week. Um, first of all, we are going to start with the grammar lesson, which is the past simple tense. Okay, before I start by raising your hands. I want two to three answers only. Um, let me ask. Ali Jbeah. Yes, Miss. Tell me about something, Ali, you did yesterday. Uh, I wake up. I what? I wake up and I went past of wake. Walk. I woke up yesterday and I went to eat. Okay. Uh, let's see another answer. Let's see what others did yesterday. Let's see what Asil did yesterday. What did you do, Asil, yesterday? I woke up and I showered. Okay. Uh, let's see what Julia did yesterday. Yes, Julia. I woke up and went outside. Okay. Can anybody use something other than woke up? Yes, Maya. Yes, Miss. Yes, what did you do yesterday other than wake up? Um, I. What did you have for lunch? Yes, Maya. Yes, Karim. Miss, yesterday I went and fed my dog. Okay. Yes, Rama. MS, yesterday I went to my grandma's house. Okay. Yes, Lama. Uh, I stand. And it tennis. What? Miss? Yes. Um I yesterday I spent time with my dad before uh, before traveling. Okay, but it's not spended, it's spent. Okay? Ah, okay. Yes, Ali. Okay. Miss, yesterday um, I woke up and all day long I just played with my cousins online. Okay, enough. Thank you. So all of you now are telling us actions that you did in the past or you did yesterday. These actions are done, right? Are they still happening now? Miss, listen. I will allow you to unmute yourselves, but please, if it is noisy next to you, do not unmute. Okay? So, are these actions done or not yet? They're done. They're done. They're done. They're happened in the past and they're done, right? So today we're yes. going to learn about how to form the past simple and when to use the past simple or why do we use the past simple tense, okay? Let's start with an overview first. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to form a past simple, when to use a past simple, and how to form the negative and affirmative forms 
and the derogative, of course, forms of the past simple. Okay? First of all, let's start with forming the past simple. I realized from the examples that you gave me that some of you... Me. What? Some of you still don't know how to change some verbs into the, into the past uh, tense, okay? I'll tell you why now. Let's see. First of all, Miss, in English, we have two kinds of verbs, okay? We have regular verbs and irregular verbs, okay? So, in order to change the verbs into the past tense, we need to see first if the verb is regular or irregular. If the verb is a regular verb, like the verb work, then you just add ed. So the form of the past simple with a regular verb is just adding ed. While if the verb is an irregular verb, this have they have a unique past tense, so they do not follow the, the rule. So you have to memorize them through the irregular verb list, which I'm going to send to you when we finish. Okay? Got it? Yes. Okay. Yes, miss. So what are the two forms of the past simple? Who can tell us? Miss? Yes, Ghadi. Yes, Miss. Yes, what regular are the forms of past simple? Irregular verbs. Huh? Regular, regular verbs, irregular verbs. This is not a form, Ya Hassan. These are the kinds of verbs. I want the form of the verb. Uh, ed. Okay, so the verb plus ed, very good. This is the first form. And the irregular verbs, the Hassan, do they follow the rule? Do we add ed for the irregular verbs? I'm ready. Sorry, ready. Yes, miss. Do we add ed to the irregular verbs? No. We no. add es. No, 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 has no, ready, please, please. Do not mix things up. Do not mix things up. Miss, we have two kinds of verbs, regular and irregular. For regular verbs, we add ed. For irregular verbs, we change the whole verb. We have to memorize them. I will show you the list of irregular verbs when we finish the session. I will send it to you on the group. Like, for example, I bought a new T-shirt. What is the past tense? Of, uh, what is the base form of boat? Past buy. Tense. Buy. Thank you. So did we say buy? No. No, we said boat. Okay. So we changed the whole verb. Yes. Miss, are you here with me, please? Show me that yes, you're I'm here. You're listening. Yeah. Yes, miss. Who can give yes, me some irregular verbs? Child. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I caught a bird. I caught a bird, very good. Caught is the past of catch. Okay. Other than that, yes, I caught. I thought. What? I can't I hear thought. You. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Anyways, anyways, this? let me just continue. I have wasted enough time. Let me just continue. Simply, briefly, 
in the e e the easiest way I could explain, a regular verb is a verb which is changed to the past by adding ed, and a regular verb is a verb which has a unique past tense in which you change the whole verb. And there is a list of irregular verbs that you have to memorize. Memorize this list in order to know the past tense of these verbs. That's it. I'm not going to explain more. I know you're getting mixed up with past, with present, to kaza. Stop please sending me in chat. I know Anna, I'm not, uh, I don't have time to open chat. Let's continue. Uses of the past simple. First of all, when you were telling me your examples or about the things you did yesterday, you, you were expressing completed actions in the past. And I asked you, are these actions done? You said yes. So the first use, the first use of the past simple is to express an action which is done in the past or an action which is completed in the past. Let's see the example. Yala ya Hassan Zainuddin, read please example number one. All right. Completed actions in the past. Yes. He broke his tooth last week. Okay. He broke. He broke his tooth last week. It means he already has broken his tooth and it's done. This action is completed. It was finished last week. The broke is a regular or irregular verb, Hassan? Irregular. Very good. What is the base form, Hassan, of broke? Break. Very good. Excellent. Did you see the difference, miss? Tab, let's see the second example. Hassan, read it again. The second example, please. Read again. Peter cooked dinner last night. Okay, great. Also, this action is completed in the past. It is finished. It was done last night and it's over. It was completed. Where is the verb, Hassan? Cooked. What did we do in order to change this verb into the past? We added ed. Since so it's this a is regular. A regular very good, Hassan. So this is a regular verb. See the difference? See the difference? Broke is a past verb and cooked is also a past verb. But the difference here is that one of them is an irregular verb and the other is a regular verb. That's why there is a difference while uh, changing them to the past tense. So the first use of the past tense is to express completed actions in the past. The second use is to express Habits in the past. What do you mean by habits in the past? Who can explain to us? Miss. Yes, habits. Miss. It's like uh, things you did in the past. Things you did in the or things you used to do in the past. Ha habits that you used to do in the past. Okay, like for example, yes. Peter played the piano when he was a child. So when he was a child in the past, it's, an, it's a habit which he used to do when he was a child. He studied Spanish when he was a student. So this is also an, a, a habit in which he did when he was a student. So these are called habits in the past, okay? The last yes. one, series of completed actions. The last one is same as the first one, by the way. Same, but instead of having one action, we have three actions or more or two or four or six based on the sentence, okay? So same idea, both of them express completed actions, but the first one express one action which was done or completed in the past. And then the third one expresses a series of completed actions which were done in the past. Uh, who is playing music? I told you if it's noisy next to you, please uh, mute yourselves. Yeah, let's continue with the series of completed actions. So here we have more than one completed action. So he sat down, took out a notebook and a pen and started taking notes. He made breakfast, drove his son to school and went to work. Type. Sat. Sat is a regular or irregular verb. 
Irregular. It's an irregular verb. What is the base form of sat? Zip. Type. T yeah. Took. Took. Irregular. It's irregular. Started. Start. So this is regular. a regular verb type. Num let's see the second example. Made. What is the pass of a base form of made? Make. 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 Very good. Okay. Uh, drove. Drive. 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 Irregular. Went. 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 Go. Go. Very good. Go. Very good. So, did you understand what are the uses of the past simple? Yes. Yes. And how we form a past simple? Yes. Okay, great. Time. Let's now move. to the spelling rules. Marwa and Maryam, what did you send me in chat? I didn't understand. If you want, you can unmute and tell me what's wrong. Marwa and Maryam. Let's continue with the spelling rules. Here there are the spelling rules of how to change to the past simple tense. Yeah, and how to change the regular verbs, of course, not the irregular verbs, because the irregular verbs do not follow any rule. So how do we form the regular verbs? First of all, we are going to start with the verbs that have one syllable or consonant, vowel, consonant, like the verb fit. If we want to change fit into the past tense by adding ed, we have to double the last consonant and then add ed. This is a rule because it's a one syllable word and it's a consonant, vowel, consonant word. Now for words who have two syllables, like refer or occur, if the last syllable is stressed, then you have to double the last consonant like referred, occurred. If the last syllable is not stressed like travel or listen, then you just add ed without doubling the last consonant. For verbs that end with vowel, vowel, consonant, look at the examples. Like the verb conceal, or like the verb reveal, or like the verb crawl. These verbs end with a vowel, vowel, consonant, okay? Yeah, and reveal ends with E-A-L, conceal ends with E-A-L, okay? Type. So these verbs, so we don't double the last consonant, we just add E-D. For verbs ending with E, like the verb decide, the side ends with E. So in order to change it to the past form, we just add D, okay? Type verbs that end with double E, like the verb agree. Come in at these verbs, guys, we just add to them E, D, okay? Sorry, we just add D without adding E. Is it clear till now? Any questions about the spelling rules? No, 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 no question. Who has a question? Who said I have a question? Miss, Miss. Yes. Miss, what do you mean the stressed? What? Miss, when you talked at uh, double the T uh. on. Yes. You mean what, what, what do you mean by this rule? Ghadi? 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 
Hadi, I said we double the last consonant when we have a one syllable word. Yani one sound. Yani the word is not divided. Yani look, fit, fit. There is one sound and it's a consonant, vowel consonant. So we double the last consonant. But look at the second example, the two syllable words. See the difference? Re, fair, occur. Two sounds, two syllables. A syllable means a sound. If this is what you were asking about, you're not answering. And of course, irregular verbs have to be studied since they do not have any rule. And I will send you as soon as we finish the lecture, the list of irregular verbs on the WhatsApp group in order to uh, memorize them. Okay. Any questions before I continue? No. No. Okay. No. Okay. Let's now move to something very important. And please here concentrate with me because it's a little bit different, okay? First of all, guys, when we want to change the affirmative, negative, and interrogative forms, first of all, in the past simple, we have two ways. We have the case in which the verb is the verb to be, and the other case which um, if the verb is an action verb, okay? Let's see the difference between both of them. You know the verbs to be in um, in the past are was and where. Okay, type was and where. Let's see if the verb was a verb to be, like they were friends. Where is the verb in the sentence? Where? Where, very good. So where is the verb? There is no other verb. So if I want to change it to the negative form. They weren't friends. They weren't friends, very good. So if I want to ask a question, how do I start my question? And this is wrong, do not look at this, this is wrong, okay? Where they Were they friends? friends? Were they friends, very good. Were they friends? This is the way I asked the question. So they were friends. They weren't friends. Were they friends? Hey, in case the verb, this is in case the verb is a, a verb to be. Okay? So let's move to the second example. If the verb is an action verb. Okay? Like worked. She worked yesterday. Where is the verb in the sentence? Worked. 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 Yeah. The rule says, Miss, please pay attention. If the sentence has an action verb, in order to form the negative and interrogative sentences, you have to add did. Okay? You have to add did. This, the rule says, so she didn't work, didn't work yesterday. yesterday. Okay? She didn't work yesterday. And you start your question with did. Did, did she work. work yesterday? Because the action verb here is, uh, the verb here is an action verb, and you need something in order to ask a question or to change the negative. So let me tell you something. What happened to work when we used did? We took off the E. Uh, Very ED. good. We crossed the ED. Excellent. Why? The rule says, come in, when did is added to a sentence, the past form verb returns to its base form. So didn't work, didn't eat, didn't read, didn't drink, didn't uh, swim, didn't dream. Whenever you have did, it means the verb should turn to its base form. Got it? Yes. 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 Okay, good. Yes. Good. Yes. Let me erase all the scratch before we. Okay. So is everything clear? Are you sure? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. I will yeah. go back from the beginning. We still have seven minutes. I will go back from the beginning, revise all of the things explained because um, some of you left and joined more than one time due to connection problems. So miss, in the past simple tense, we have to follow the kind of verb. Uh, if the verb is a regular verb, then you have to just add ed in order to change it to the past like the verb worked. And if the verb is an irregular verb, like the verb buy, you have to change the whole verb and memorize the list of irregular verbs. Like we said, we gave some example, eat, ate, read, read, drink, drank, run, ran, cut, cut, put, put, uh, buy, boat, catch, coat, fight, fought. All of these are verbs that are called irregular verbs. And as I told you, they do not follow the rule. They have a unique past tense and they do not follow any rule. Okay? And Anna, when I send you now the list of irregular verbs, you have to start memorizing. Even if I didn't tell you, and I'm going to tell you, of course, I'm going to assign a number of verbs in order to be memorized. But um, you have to start memorizing them if you don't know most of them. Okay? Clear till now. Any question about the form of the irregular and regular verb and the form of the past simple tense? No. No, no miss. No. no. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's move to the uses. Camilla, the uses we said that they are very simple. It's used to express completed action in the past or a series of completed actions. And I told you that these are very close. You have the same use, but completed actions when we have one action and series of completed actions when we have more than one action, like he sat down, he took a notebook and a pen and started taking notes. He made breakfast, he drove his son to school and went to work. So here they, we have a series of action and a group of action or an act, actions happening after each other. Completed actions in the past, something that happened in the past. Of course, we usually use last week, last night, um, two years ago, uh, one month ago, last Saturday, yesterday. Okay, all of these are time expressions used in the past tense. The third use, we said it's the habits in the past, and it's when you... Um, when you used to do something in the past, okay? And maybe you stopped doing it now, like Peter played the piano when he was a child. So this happened in the past, it's a habit. This, he studied Spanish when he was a student. So this is also a habit. We also talked about the spelling rules, about the one syllable words, um, the consonant, vowel, consonant, in which we have to double the last consonant. We talked about two syllable words. When the last consonant is stressed, we double the last uh, consonant and we add ed. If it's not, we just add ed. Verbs that end with vowel, vowel consonant, like conceal and reveal, we add ed. Verbs that end with e, we just add d. And verbs that end with double e, we just add d. And the most important thing that we talked about today is the negative and affirmative forms and, uh, and the interrogative forms of the uh, past simple tense. We said we have two forms the verb to be and uh, action verbs. If we have a verb to be, we just add not and we start our question with the verb to be. But if the verb is an action verb, you uh, have to add uh, did to the verb. So she didn't work, she didn't sleep, she didn't eat. And of course you start your question with did, like she, did she work yesterday or did she uh, sleep early yesterday? Did she whatever, but the main, mainly, you have to um, put the uh, action verb back to its base form when there is did in the sentence. Any problems, any questions? Yala, we still have three minutes. If you have any question, you can ask about anything, not only about grammar. Are you facing any problems with Flipgrid? Did you all upload your videos? Did you record the poem and the reading? Yeah. 
no problems, you're not facing any problem. Guys, hello. Can you hear me? Hassan Zainuddin. Asil, you are unmuted. Can you hear me? So anyways, um, time is over. Thank you. See you tomorrow.